Every year for a couple of weeks, a Crescent Springs man would put up decorations until his house was the talk of the town. And it sure was, but sadly, Scott Mills died last year, only 51 years old after a cancer battle, but his neighbors decided to keep Scott's tradition alive. WLWT news anchor Curtis Fuller sharing the story that'll light up your night. His motto was always go big or go home. So he did that obviously with the Christmas display as well. Scott Mills was passionate about celebrating Christmas in a big way, his way. He wanted everybody to enjoy it and he wanted it to be as large and grand as he could possibly make it. It takes about a month to fully decorate inside and outside the house, but one special room in the basement stays up year round. Uh, next thing I know, we have a bunch of pink foam board downstairs and I'm down there painting it and my brother's gluing some of this stuff in and all of a sudden we have a second level in our village and I was, it was kind of crazy to have done in two weeks, but um, yeah, it was like a really special like thing to do together though because now I think it makes me appreciate the village even more. In February of 2022, Scott died after a brief battle with cancer. He was only 51. Last Christmas was our first Christmas without him. So we did what we could and we did well and we got a lot of things out, but it wasn't, it wasn't Scott perfect. This year, the whole neighborhood pitched in, making sure 2023 was Scott perfect. It's not even just about them pitching in. It's just, you know, you need somebody to talk to or you need somebody for those harder times. I mean, the neighbors are, all the neighbors on the street are like a second family. And the message is just take time, you know, enjoy time with your family, go around, go get in your car, drive around, look at the great light displays. Like it just gives you just that special time with the people that you love. <laughs> what a great neighborhood and the whole neighborhood does this. They decorate their homes. It's wonderful. You know, Scott Mills was in banking for many years over at Fifth Third Bank. He was also a bourbon collector, had <laughs> dozens of bottles and a proud Jimmy Buffett parrot head. Everyone says he loved to have just a good time. His favorite saying, Mike, was I'll have one more because he never wanted the fun to end. I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5. Sounds like someone all of us would want to be friends with, Curtis. I'm not sure which one was more spectacular, the inside or the outside. And the great thing is, thanks to the neighbors and the family, the fun does continue yeah. in that neighborhood every year.